Ha. Ha ha. Oh, so hot. For the filling, you will need two heaped tablespoons of mixed dried vegetables, two chopped sun dried tomatoes, a healthy teaspoon of dried onions, and a healthy teaspoon of herbs. In this case, we've got thyme. Also, salt, pepper, and garlic. For the sauce, one heaped tablespoon of dried mashed potato, one heaped tablespoon of milk powder, a teaspoon of cheese powder, and some salt, pepper, and garlic. For the topping, you will need two heaped tablespoons of dried mashed potato, one heaped tablespoon of dried cheese, and a teaspoon of nutmeg. On top of the packaging for the topping, write a T, so you know to make the difference between the sauce. Then add it with two tins of your favorite fish, here we've got tuna and salmon, put it in a Ziploc bag, and head outside. Okay, so we've got the flame going. The first thing we're gonna do, is from our bag, separate it all out. Start to make the bushmeal sauce. So remember I marked that, I've got T for topping, put that to one side, and I'm gonna empty, empty this one out into the pan, tiny bit of water, and put it straight onto the heat. As ever, simmering is ready on standby, but I'm gonna regulate the heat just by lifting it. I'm going to keep stirring it until it is the texture of bechamel sauce. Meanwhile, I'm going to open our tins of fish. I like to bring these little army style tin openers. If you see it getting too thick, add more water and bring it off the heat for a while while it, while it thickens. So now simmering goes on and also it's going to thicken up a hell of a lot more as we add the rest of our ingredients. And now we're going to add more water. As you put heat through that bechamel sauce mixture, it'll get thicker. What I want to do is get this to about the right consistency. So I'm just going to keep applying heat and when I need to apply water. And right at the end, we're going to add the fish. This is starting to smell beautiful now. Everything just smushing together without a lid on. We should be letting that evaporate, getting it to the thickness that we want. And just to go over this mixture again. I've got a couple of spoonfuls of dehydrated vegetables, sun-dried tomatoes, bechamel sauce powder. I promised I'd do a video on that, but I haven't yet. Um, I've also got some thyme in here and some parsley, some dried onions. Yeah, and you can add whatever you like. That's quite nice for the texture. So simmering goes on now. That goes to the side. I'm going to add the fish. Ideally, you'd catch your own fish, but Unfortunately, well, I don't live near a river. Well, I live near the sea, but that's beside the point. Sometimes when you're in the middle of the trail and you want this fish pie, chances are you're going to be using tins. If you do catch fresh fish, that's amazing. Then you can preserve the tins for another day. I like having two different flavors in here, which is why I've got two different types of fish, tuna and salmon. So just a tiny bit of heat. So in here we have the fish pie topping, which is traditionally, as you may well know, mashed potatoes. So I have got dried mashed potato powder, salt, pepper, magic ingredient, which is nutmeg and quite a healthy tablespoon of cheese powder because I want it a bit cheesy. Pour your mixture into there, take this off the heat. But what we need first is water. Tiny bit by tiny bit. And those of you that know me will know that I pretty much like adding olive oil to everything. Then simmering as wide as you can get it pop that on the top smush your fish pie mix down flat that's keeping its heat you can hear it hissing this is a nice creamy mash now Let's spoon that on you can give this a quick wash if you know a river and you're ready for your brew so now we're going to flatten that out and wait a while see that's steaming really smelling lovely now we're about to do the test. See if it's hot enough on the inside. Hold the knife into the center of the meal. Wait for about five seconds. And then test it on the back of your hand. If it burns your hand, <laughs> it's ready. Potatoes are actually getting much warmer faster than I anticipated. So we'll just wait some. And there we go. I don't know if you can hear that hissing and sizzling. And that's bubbling away there. One more test. Ooh, yeah, ow. That's obviously ready because that's boiling hot. Final trick, crunch a few crisps up on top there. And of course, I'm adding some of my sauce. 
So that's it, one really hearty fish pie. If you don't like fish, what would you do? Let me know in the comments below. Ah, how was it getting hotter?